right next to the cooperage with its walls bursting out over this amazing staircase. Now this staircase, also called Long Stairs, a lot of stairs like this were simply called that. This goes all the way up to the castle keep and into the city, back at a time when the city was riddled with dark alleys. This was still a time when people didn't have indoor toilets. They were doing what they do in all old cities. Essentially, use a potty of some kind and just hurl it out into the street. So the stench and the fact that that's the town up there, we're on a steep hill, gravity's gonna bring all of that down towards the river, which is just over there. Yet, this is a story from the late 1700s into the 1800s. This was one of the most popular taverns back then. And the problem they had, press gangs. Press gangs were people who came off the ships that were moored literally 50 yards away from where I'm standing. And they'd pour into the taverns and they would do some of those things that you've probably heard about. They would put a king's shilling into somebody's beer. They'd drink it. And when they got to the bottom, they'd go, oh, there's a shilling. As Soon as he's holding that shilling in his hands, he's just joined Her Majesty's Royal Navy, whether you like it or not. And you're gonna be away from home for up to seven years. Most normally it was three, but it could, depending on where you went, could be seven years. So nobody wanted to be press gang. And the people in this tavern came up with an idea. They were gonna hire a young boy who would climb out of one of the upstairs windows. You can still see them there now. Climb up onto the roof and right at the front of the cooperage, he would straddle the very top of the building. And his only job all day and night long was to sit there, presumably hurting himself in the process, but spotting press gangs coming towards him. If he did, he took the rope, a bell rang in the bar, everybody dove out of these doors and raced up and hid in Newcastle city centre. However, that young man wasn't that lucky because one day, one of the press gangers saw him tugging away on the bell, thinking, hang on a second, we've, we're never gonna ever find anybody. They're always being tipped off by this young boy. So they waited till the young boy came down. They got a hold of him and the tavern owner. They killed the tavern owner and come up here. Because as a warning to any other taverns who were going to operate a similar system to protect their loyal clientele, they got the young boy and they nailed him to this door. Nails in his hands, nails in his feet, and finally, a nail in his throat. Now, story has it that late at night, especially dark nights when a river fret comes in and the mist fills the long stairs, it's said that you can see a dark figure moving, a blackness that's darker than dark, moves from this door and tries to get away when physically, he couldn't do it, but maybe in death he could. There's another silky. A silky is a ghost that uh, you sometimes hear crinolines, you hear silk moving. There's supposed to be a silky here in the cooperage too. And we think we may know who she is.